there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Zephyr and I are here today to talk to you about a really, really special book. I just recently read it because it was just recently published. It was one of my most highly anticipated reads of 2024, and it did not disappoint. And I'm really excited to talk about it today, not just because I just recently read it and it's really fresh in my mind, but also because it's really the perfect time to be talking about it because we're in March now, and March is Women's History Month, and there is is no better book that I can think of to talk about this month than this book. So what am I talking about? The Women by Kristen Hanna. So this is Kristen Hanna's brand new book and I was so excited for this book to come out. I am a huge fan of Kristen Hanna. I have not read a book of hers that I didn't love. The thing that one of the things that I love about her writing is she can take a topic that might not be something I have read a lot about or know a lot about or even think I might not be interested in about and make it so captivating and so enthralling that I just cannot put it down. And this book, like I said, did not disappoint. So this book is actually about the Vietnam War, specifically the women that served in the Vietnam War. And you might be thinking women weren't in Vietnam. And that's what a lot of the people in this book thought too. A lot of the people thought women were not in Vietnam and they were, they were there as nurses. And that is what Frankie is there to do. So our main character, Frankie, is 20 years old in the beginning of the story. It is 1965 and her brother is about to go to the Vietnam War. He's about to go to war and she is going to miss him. She knows she's going to miss him and her father and mother are making such a big deal about how special he is and how important what, he, what he's doing is. He's going to fight for the country, his country and everything like that. And she's proud of him. She really is. But she wants to be able to help too. And a chance encounter with her brother's best friend, Rai, where he tells her, you know, women can be heroes too, gives her the confidence she needs to enlist in the army, to go to get some train, to go to school for nursing, train to go to the army, and she is immediately sent over to Vietnam. Now, this is against her family's wishes. They just want her to, you know, marry well. This is the 60s, right? So they want her to marry well. They don't want her to have anything to do with this. But she's been raised by these stories of valor, of war valor. Her dad has this huge wall of people in their family that have gone to war and that are just these quote unquote war heroes. And she wants to be on that war, on that wall. So she goes and she immediately discovers that it is nothing like she expected. And I just want to stop and say that there are so many absolutely incredible things about this book. So the first thing I want to mention is the fact that I don't know if this was just the school, the high school that I went to in the town that I grew up in, or it's a generational thing. I'm an elder millennial. But when I was in high school, I learned nothing about the Vietnam War. Like other than the dates that it took place, I knew nothing about it. I even had an uncle that fought in the Vietnam War. He never talked about it. And I never knew anything about it. This book was one of the first in-depth explorations I have had with this war. And Kristen Hanna did her research. You can absolutely tell. If you read the afterword of this book, I, I really encourage that. Um, it talks about, you know, what her process was like, the sort of people she talked to and how her research looked. This book is incredible. You really, really learn how very different this war was compared to some of the other wars. And it's just amazing. So I want to read one little um, quote from this, okay, that just gives you an idea about how different this war was. There were more than 450,000 American men in Vietnam now, and God knew how many deaths and casualties. You certainly couldn't find that answer in the Stars and Stripes, which is a newspaper. Many of the new troops in country barely had six weeks of training. Unlike World War II, when soldiers had trained together in platoons and went to war alongside men with whom they'd been trained, these new recruits came alone and were dropped in wherever they were needed, without the support of a platoon, without men they knew they could depend on. Army basic training had been shortened to get the men in combat sooner. And Frankie wondered who in the hell decided that less training for war was a good idea, but no one had asked her opinion. Wow. 
I had no idea about that. I had no idea about the way that the training was, how they went in with barely any training without people that they could feel that they could rely on. And even in the story, Frankie is just put, she's shuffled to a few different places where she's needed the most, some better than others. Now, she makes some amazing friendships and relationships in this place. She meets two friends that become her best friends for the whole rest of her life. She also meets a few men that she falls in love with. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I want you to experience that as you read. Um, but there's just a lot of misinformation that was going on at the time. The people at home in America, what news they were getting versus what was actually going on in Vietnam. And that was one of the first times that that was really happening. And it was amazing to be able to read about this and discover it. The other thing that I thought was just astonishing about this book is this entire, so this whole book, right, which is pretty long, is not all about Frankie being in war. So about halfway through, she goes home. So she goes for two tours. She comes home. The whole rest of the book is her dealing with the aftermath of being in the Vietnam War. And it gives you an idea of what some of these soldiers and some of these nurses and other people dealt with when they came back. People spit on them. People cursed them. People gave them dirty looks. This was not like when soldiers came home from World War II and they were celebrated and everybody, you know, was throwing parties and everything in the street. This was not like that. People hated these soldiers when they came back because of the anti-war protests and a lot of the hippies and stuff and they were just treated so badly they were not given the resources they needed to be able to get better uh and i don't mean just the physical you know resources i mean the ones that like the the mental ones there was a lot of bad things that went on in that war that they talk about and they did not get the resources that they needed and frankie is on top of that dealing with the fact that her parents lied about where she was and they told people that she had been abroad for a couple years in europe so, because they were embarrassed and ashamed that their daughter had been to war. Wow, there is so much to unpack there. And if you've never read a Kristen Hanna book before, let me just tell you, her writing is just hands down some of the best writing ever. It is very much well-researched writing, right? But it's also very down to earth. You feel these characters' lives. You feel like you're taking part in these characters' lives. It's absolutely incredible. And the things that Frankie experienced, you're just rooting for her the whole, whole time because she's an incredible character, an incredible person. And what she went through is not something anyone should have gone through, but so many people did. And that's amazing. And like I said, she can take a topic like I knew nothing really about the Vietnam War. And she made me so, so like engrossed in it. I haven't talked to a single person that's read this book yet that didn't like it. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. And I want to read one more quote for you towards the end of the book, because I think it really sums up one of the main things about the Vietnam War. We were the last believers, my generation. We trusted what our parents taught us about right and wrong, good and evil, the American myth of equality and justice and honor. I wonder if any generation will ever believe again. People will say it was the war that shattered our lives and laid bare the beautiful lie we'd been taught. And they'd be right and wrong. Wow. This book is so incredible and I urge you to read it because it's so, so, so good. And it's a perfect book to read and talk about, especially in March, which is Women's History Month. The Women. Kristen Hanna. Well... I hope that this book sounds just as exciting to you as it was for me to read it and then get to talk about it. Um, if so, please feel free to come check it out from Farmington Community Library. And also, uh, please give this video a like. Thank you so, so very much for watching, friends. Have a wonderful rest of the day.